Hey guys, welcome back to the Docker series. Today we will be doing some hands on with Docker. I hope Docker is up and running in your system and you are ready to follow along with me. If it's not installed, please check out my previous video on installing Docker and try to get it installed. This video should cover most of the basic commands that we use in Docker. So without any further delay, let's get started. Before we start with our first command, we will try to understand what is Docker registry. If you remember, we discussed Docker registry in the Docker architecture discussion. Docker registry is a place where we push our images with different versions from our machine. We can also pull different images from Docker registry to our machine. You can compare it pushing and pulling your source code from and to GitHub respectively. We can access Docker registry at hub.docker.com and click on explore to see what are the images available. These are the images pushed by different companies and individuals so that others can use those images. For example, if you want to install Nginx, traditionally you will download Nginx from the internet and you will install it in your system. But with Docker, all you need to do is just search for Nginx image and run a simple command. That's it. You will be having Nginx with you. If you see here, 1 billion plus people downloaded this image. Let's see that in action. If you see the command here, docker pull nginx. This is the command which we use to download the image. Just copy this command and paste it in your terminal. And hit enter. If you can see, it is pulling images from docker registry. If you see the message it printed, it is downloading the latest version of Nginx. If you want to pull any specific version of Nginx, just type docker pull Nginx colon version number. You can see the different versions supported by image in the description of the image in the docker registry. These are all the versions supported by this image. Let's try to install 1.20 version. If you see 1.20 version is pulling from the docker registry. Now we have two different versions of nginx. Let's verify whether we have those images available with us by running a simple command. The command is docker images. If you see we have two nginx images with different tags latest and 1.20. Please note that these are just images we didn't create any container yet. As we discussed in the introduction to docker video, when we run an image that creates a container, the container is the place where our service actually runs. Image is just a blueprint to create the container. Now let us create the container from this nginx image. To create the container out of image, just run docker run and name of your image. Here, the name of our image is nginx. This is where our actual service will be running. Now we have nginx container. To see the list of containers we have, let's run docker ps in another tab. This command will list all the containers we have. If you see here, just now we created a nginx container. So this is the image name from which the container has been created. This is the container ID. Okay, let's come out of the container which is running here by pressing Ctrl C. Now we came out of the container and try to run docker ps. If you see here, we don't have any containers running here. To list out all the containers which are running and stopped, just run docker ps a. If you see here, this is the container which is exited 34 seconds ago, which is the one we stopped with Ctrl C. But how do I solve the problem of staying in the terminal? We can run the container in the background with hyphen D flag. Just run docker run hyphen D nginx. If you run docker ps, you can see the container which is running. 
The beauty of Docker is you can run any number of Nginx instances with same command. Let's try to run docker run nginx 1.20 and let's try to run this in the detached mode. If you see the container created. Now we should have two containers running. One is the latest version which we ran previously and another one is 1.20 version of nginx which we just ran. Docker PS. If you can see we have the two different versions of nginx. One is latest, another one is 1.2. Well, our containers are now running with nginx service. But how do I access those? nginx runs by default on port 80. So generally we should be able to access nginx on localhost 80 or just localhost as browser serves 80 port by default. But if you can see we cannot access nginx service. What does it mean? Is nginx service is not running? No, it's actually running. Let's see why we are not able to access it. Let's say we have two containers running in our host or laptop. Each container gets its unique IP address when it's created, just like we have an IP for a host. But this IP can be accessed only from your host where the container is actually running. Every service in a container runs on a port. In this case, our Nginx is running on port 80. To make it available on host IP, we need to map container port to the host port. Now to access the first Nginx service, we should map the port 80 of Nginx to 80 port of the host. Not only 80 port, you can use any port which is not being used by any other service. To do that, run docker run p, which means that we are mapping the ports. We are mapping 80 port of the host to the 80 port of the container and we are running nginx image. As we are not specifying any version here, the latest version will be used. And let's run this one in the detached mode and hit enter. If you see the container now created. Let us see what we are doing here. We are saying that any request comes on 80 port of host IP just forward it to the port 80 of the container. Now let us try to access our nginx. Great. Here is your nginx. With just a single command you are able to get your nginx. Not only nginx. You can get anything which is hosted in docker hub be it postgres mysql redis etc now we are able to access our first nginx service if you remember we also created another version of nginx which is 1.20 let us try to access that one as well on a different port to access our second nginx service just run same command docker run hyphen p 80 port of the host to the 80 port of the container hyphen d nginx and we want to run 1.20 version. Let's hit enter. If you see the error, the port is already allocated. Both nginx services can run on the same port of the container, but we cannot map those two containers to the same port of the host. Host port is always unique. So as 80 port is already being used with the first nginx container, let us try to map it to the different port of the host. To do that, just change the port of the host 80 to 90. If you see the container is created, let us try to access the second nginx service as well. Let's open a new tab and go to localhost colon 90. If you see, we have two nginx services are running. The both nginx services runs. Now let us try to run docker ps to see what are the running containers. If you see we have the four containers running. These are the two containers we ran previously without giving any port mapping. And these are the containers we just created with the port mapping. If you can see here the ports are mapped here. We are saying that port 90 of the host is mapped to the port 80 of the container. Same goes here, port 80 of the host mapped to the port 80 of the container. 
So now we have four containers. As we are able to access these containers and we are not able to access these containers, let's try to delete it just to save some space. To delete a container, just run docker rm and your container id. Here is the container id. So just paste here. You can delete multiple containers by giving container IDs separated by space. If you see the error here, stop the container before attempting to removal or force remove. It means that you cannot remove a container without stopping the container. So before that, let's try to stop the container. To stop the container, just change this RM to stop. If you see the containers are stopped now, we can verify with that with the docker ps. If you can see those containers are not anymore here. As I mentioned earlier, docker ps gives the containers only which are running. If you want to see the all the containers, just run docker ps hyphen a. So these are the containers which we stopped. So let's try to remove those containers now. If you see these two containers are removed and you can verify it with docker ps hyphen a. Now those containers are not anymore here. We can also delete these containers which are not running with docker rm container id space another one and you can remove it. You can verify with docker ps hyphen a. It's difficult to remember these container ids. So whenever any container is created, it gets a random name. If you want to give a custom name to your container, let's run docker run hyphen hyphen name test and your image name and let's run it in detached mode. If you see the container is created. Now let us list the containers. If you can see here, which is test and please note that Whenever we execute docker run, it will create a new container. To change the name of the existing container, just run docker rename and your name of the container with the new name, test1. And let us list the containers. If you see here, the name is changed. Let us see how to restart a container. To do that, Let's try to stop this container. Docker stop container ready. If you don't want to remember this container ready, you can give the container name also. If you see the container is stopped, we can verify that with the docker ps hyphen a. If you see this container is exited nine seconds ago. Let's try to restart the container. For that, just run docker start container name. If you see the content is started, we can verify that with docker ps. Here we go. You can see the container status as up. Well, now we know how to delete a container, how to start a container and how to stop the container. Now let us see how to delete a image. To do that, let's list out the images we have. If you see, we have Nginx image with two different versions. If you see, each image size is 133 MB. To free up some space in a machine, let's try to delete this Nginx 1.20 version. To do that, docker rmi nginx colon 1.20. I'm deleting the 1.20 version of Nginx image. If you see the error message, it's saying that this container is already using that image. To delete an image, we must remove the containers dependent on that image. To do that, docker stop container id let's remove the container also docker rm container id now we can delete the image with the same command if you see the image is deleted we can verify that with the docker images if you see we have only one image which is of latest version at any point of time, if you are not sure what flags are available for a specific command, just docker hyphen help. Let's see what are the flags available on the run command. If you see, these are all the flags available on the run command. 
if you see we already used iphone p command for the port mapping in this way you can get the help on any commands with just hyphen hyphen help command now you might be getting a question well i developed my react js or spring boot application and i can't get this image in the docker registry how do i build a custom image for my application don't worry we will build custom images for our spring boot and react js applications from scratch stay tuned I hope you followed along with me and got more familiar with the docker. My name is Pawan Iltepu and I thank you very much for watching this video. If you liked it, please share it with your friends and do not forget to subscribe to my channel to not miss any updates.